All right, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to show you how to put a rear rack on the front. This is actually a 700C rack, and I'm putting on a 26-inch bike. Um, I just got a Facebook Marketplace, came with some bolts and stuff, which was pretty cool. You also want to make sure if you can find one where it has the center mount, um, where those holes in the logo is, and then this one's a, a Boyer rack, um, Taiwanese company. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of old racks. Out there so maybe you can get one um, get one converted if you can't find a, a front rack that you like or you don't want to spend tons of money all right you can see uh, this 700 C fits pretty well on the 26 inch wheel just because once you pump up the tire for 26 inch wheel it's going to be around the same size um, but you can see the first problem I have is it's hitting on the, um, the cantilever brake hanger wire there so I'm gonna to have to make a few adjustments so to fix that up, kinda of want it to sit down a little bit as well. So yeah, another another thing you can do, you can actually just take off the brake cable and put it over the top. But you can see mine lines up right with the uh, the hanger, so it's gonna be a little bit funky when you pull up and down on the brake. Um, so yeah, yeah, you can see I wanna lower it a little bit, try to keep it as horizontal as possible. Um, but you can see <laughs> the mounts are really far away now once I move the rack that way. So what I'm going to try to do is kind of bend these ends and yeah, hopefully it works out. So yeah, the technique to do this is nothing special. Just use a, just use a shifter, chuck it on and uh, yeah, bend, <laughs> bend it, put one hand up top like that, another hand you just bend it towards the back. Um, just go easy when you bend it, of course, you don't want to bend it straight away and bend it too much and you don't uh, yeah you also want to be careful that um, your metal is not cracking or anything so just take it slow and um, it should work out all right so basically I bent it a little bit and I did the same on the other side and this is what it kind of looks like so yeah basically the next thing you have to do is just chuck it on the rack or chuck it on your bike and just test it to see um, to see how it is and yeah you just chuck it on bend it bend a little bit more I ended up bending mine all the way um, just because that's the way it worked best and yeah you can see now that I have it it's pretty flat all right so the problem you might run into is you might get a bit of wheel rub there and the way to solve this is try to bend it um, bend it evenly on both sides um, if it's uneven like how you see there, you just basically got to take the rack part and re-bend one of the sides so um, it's a little bit more even. And yeah, and here's basically what the final looks like for me. Alright, next thing I did was just clean up the rack with a wire brush and some WD-40. Um, yeah, it was pretty easy and yeah, a little bit of cleaning goes a long way I think. You can see that was the old and this is the new. Um, yeah, just got rid of all the rust and I think it looks pretty good. Alright, next thing to do was fix up this mount. So you just got to basically measure it. I have to cut mine down a little bit and give it a new bend. So yeah, you just bend it with the shifter again. Um, for some reason this metal was really hard to bend so I guess yeah, just take your time. And then I ended up cutting it as well and this is the final piece. This is kind of what it looks like. All right, installing the rack. Um, yeah, once everything's kind of set and ready, it's pretty easy. You just gotta screw everything in. Um, if you're wondering which bolts to use, it's an M5 bolt, same as the water bottle bolts, same size. So you've got a few of those, maybe you can use that. And yeah, just make sure your tire clears. Um, here you can see it. I just have it clear the brake. Um, it's pretty close, but it clears. <laughs> you can adjust it accordingly. And you can see, yeah, the brake still works here. And then, yeah, just make sure your wheel clears. Got a bit of room there. You can still is running a little, a little close to that edge, but um, it's going to do for now. I can always either rebend it or redish the wheel. All right, here's the final thing. Um, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked on it. I think it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty good for a, a rear rack. Um, so yeah, hopefully that helps people out. Um, if you can't find a rear rack, you can check out my IKEA video, a DIY basket. 
Um, but yeah, I probably could put a front basket on this one. I won't do a video on that. Um, it's pretty easy to put a basket on, just use zip ties. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, yeah, shout out to everyone who bought stickers. Um, if you want stickers, you can uh, check out my shop. All right, so that's it. Hope you're doing good and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.